I'm hoping that it, it will, in fact, slow down Alzheimer's. Slow down, I guess, is what I would say, yeah. Have you noticed a difference? Well, I think I have, yes. The man you just met is Russell. He has Alzheimer's, and he's hoping this headset will help improve his quality of life. We are going to put this device on. He was part of a small study, just a handful of people, which is literally shining light on Alzheimer's through this headset. This whole thing actually rests on the science of what you call photobiomodulation, which is really uh, a way of using light to affect the body, to be able to, to improve it. The headset has four LED cluster heads and an LED nostril clip which zaps light to the parts of the brain believed to be affected by Alzheimer's. Researchers in Toronto and Boston conducted the treatment over 12 weeks and they were surprised with the results. This is the brain activity before the machine is on. Immediately when we switch the machine on, then this is the brain response. This is immediate and accurate brain response. And it's very surprising also for me. This is good. This is good. This is good in sense the brain response to the light. They also the noticed improvements in day-to-day -day life, device. better sleep, really calmer, good. more cooperative, and less wandering. They were eating independently. They didn't have to be nice fed. Um, one of them came in very slumped, unable to walk, and by six weeks into treatment, he was much more erect, able to walk independently. I mean, for somebody who sees these sorts of changes, it makes your heart really feel amazing about it. Russell says his caregivers have also noticed a change in him. My daughter, especially Jennifer, the youngest, she's the, she, she noticed it. She said, it's amazing. And so did Gwen, my girlfriend. She said, when you, when you do that, you, you know, it, 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 it is a big change. A positive change, but scientists say more research still needs to be done. Right now, light therapy is also being studied on those with brain injury, strokes, and PTSD. These researchers will have two more studies which will take place in the next few months. To find out more information, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. At Violet Stella Cuisto, City News.